beautiful Saturday here in New York, and we're here with the equally beautiful Courtney. And your dog's name is Bernard. Hello, Bernard. It's nice to meet you. So it's Saturday in New York City. I have to say, uh, we're hanging out in the park, the two of us. I'm with DJ Mixmaster Marley, my dog. And my question to you is, do you, be honest, do you prefer people or dogs? Depends on the person and the dog, but I, I love all dogs for the most part, unless they're, unless they're mean dogs, which there aren't too many of those. And, and usually if they're mean, it could mean there's a reason, or it could be the person exactly. that's with them. Exactly. exactly. But it's Saturday, so it's going to be Saturday night. Would you prefer to be spending Saturday night with your dog or with a significant other? Both. <laughs> <laughs> with a nice bottle of wine? Exactly. Exactly. D does Bernard drink wine? Uh, occasionally he has beer. Marley actually likes an occasional sip of beer, too. What, what wine or beer does Bernard prefer? He'll take whatever I give him, but I like Sierra Nevada. <laughs> Marley's a Guinness dog herself, but she oh. prefers she prefers a little lick of tequila or white wine. But don't tell anybody. Oh, I haven't tried either of those on Bernard, so now I will. Thank you. Well, like mother, like daughter, that's the whole thing. <laughs> oh. Have you ever brought Bernard to a bar? To a bar? I don't know any bars that allow dogs. We'll have to find one. Okay, I'd be down. So do you prefer dogs or people? I would say dogs for the most part. They're always happy, or at least the ones that I know. Um, they're nice and friendly and, you know, love me. <laughs> <laughs> Unconditional love, huh? Exactly. Nothing like it. It's the best. <laughs> and what was your name? Kathy. Kathy, and what's your dog's name? This is Brody. How long have you had Brody? We've had Brody uh, since May, uh, two and a half years ago. In the end, do you prefer people or dogs? Oh, definitely the dog. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about it. Why? Oh, no grief, just love, you know. He's just, he's good. He's a good boy. Definitely, yeah. It's such a beautiful day here in New York City, and we are with? Karen King. Hi, Karen, and what's Hi. your dog's name? Arthur. Hello, Arthur. Arthur. Do you spend a lot of time with him? I try to as much as I can. I mean, I do have a job, so I have to leave him during the day. But Who do you prefer, dogs or people? I like both. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, I know a lot of people say I like dogs more than people. I can't say that. I like people and I like dogs, and I love this dog. Especially if, you, if they're people that love dogs. Yes. And is that a prerequisite in a relationship? Well, that if they didn't love dogs, they'd have to get to at least like and t be tolerate. nice with mine. Beyond tolerate. They'd have to start to feel a little nice about Arthur. Which well, wouldn't be hard, because he's charming. He's very charming. But uh, it's not a prerequisite um, going in, but if, it didn't, if he, they didn't get along, it would be a hard thing. We are here with... Evan. Evan, and your beautiful dog's name? Fenster. Fenster. Fenster seems to be a great buddy and a companion. Oh yeah, I spend uh, I spend a lot of time with him, no question. Do you prefer spending time with Fenster or with people? What do you, who do you prefer, dogs or people? <laughs> Pretty unequivocally, dogs, I'd say. <laughs> at least you know where you're at with them. Why do you think that? Uh, they're uh, not coy with their feelings like some, you know, people are. They're not catty. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> you said it, not me. Well, there he goes. <laughs> Today we are here with Johnny and Lulu. Hello, Lulu, and hello, Johnny. I have to say, Lulu looks incredibly beautiful in her outfit today. And I'm wondering, I, I know you like to dress up, Lulu. Do you prefer spending more time with Lulu than with people? Do you prefer dogs or people? Mm, dogs. <laughs> Why do you prefer dogs? Well, they don't talk back. They don't talk back bad to you. And then it's, they're loving, actually. They really do loving um, dogs. But a dog can bite you back. Depends. If you feel some, if they feel threatened, then definitely it will bite you back. But if you feel like sincere and, you know, they're not crazy dog, then probably not. <laughs> <laughs> and do you ever find that spending more time with Lulu has been sort of making it difficult to have a relationship? Yes. <laughs> yes. I hear ya. I hear ya. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, all we can say is thank God for Lulu. 
Yes, thank God for Lulu, definitely. There's nothing like unrequited love. Yes, unconditional love. I know.